Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. I'm here on day 17 of our Advent Calendar by Box by Core Create Crafts. Every day I've been putting out a short where I open up one day. Today is December 24th and we are finished now with the box. So I'm going to open up all of the last eight again in one video in case you don't care for looking at shorts you get to see the other eight pieces that were in the advent calendar box now of course this was the last part of the advent box and the items were bigger and more spectacular than the first two portions of the advent box so Hopefully you'll enjoy this. So let's start with day 17. Day 17 was chunky. It is chunky. And when we open up, it is, oh, it's several things. It's a pair of scissors. These are beautiful. Small, sharp scissors. That would be great for fussy cutting. And let's see, it says on the back, uh, 3.5 centimeter, 11.3. Uh, the sheer part, the cut part is 3.5. The size all told is 11.3. And these small scissors are perfect for paper crafts, embroidery, needlework, sewing, antique bronze. And they are beautiful. They are some beautiful scissors. All right. And then in addition to that were some um, clips. And they come in several sizes. So, like, kind of a, a range. And so they, four. I thought there were five. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. <laughs> four, kind of a antique gold or antique bronze type clip. These are also wonderful, not only to use for your crafting, but to use in your junk journals. All right, day 18. Day 18 was chunky. And it is, it's not washi tape, it's stickers. I want to peel them carefully. They are stickers. They are sticker sheet or transfer sheet. Oh, I think they're transfers. Or they might just be vellum. They might just be vellum, vellum, a vellum roll with beautiful printed pictures on it. I think that's what this is. I thought it was stickers, but I, I don't think so. So botanicals and antique type items that you find in the home. Oh my goodness, we haven't repeated yet. There we go. I think that's, nope. I haven't found any repetition. So very nice. And it's, it's, a, pretty, it's a pretty massive roll. Beautiful prints, beautiful colors, very detailed very nice all right i'll put that right there day 19 day 19 day 19 is flat it is flat and it is thin and it is some stickers and it is some butterfly stickers two sheets uh, both clear stickers they are, are they perforated? Let's see. Let's see. Or do you have to cut them out? I see lines, but yes, I see lines. So they are perforated. Yeah, they are perforated. I, I didn't know if you had to cut them out or if you, um, they peeled individually. There you go. Beautiful. And also the names of the butterflies are next to them. So the colors are spectacular there you go so butterflies two sheets of butterflies all right day 20 again another flat one and oh it is another set of stamps and these are the theme is enchanted forest and uh, let's pull it out oh look how pretty so um where is my i'll use the back of this 
So it's like a, an emblem, like a, a banner, and then two banners, and then you can actually uh, stamp the insides, the animals on the insides, just like that. And then these banners or these borders right here. Very nice, very intricate, very detailed. Her clear stamps are always wonderfully intricate, and they stamp really well. Uh, no priming necessary. They just stamp right out the package. All right, so that was day 20. So day 21 is a little, a little circular. Oh, another washi tape. All right, and very, again, forest and, and botanical. There's some insects in there too. Beautiful, beautiful green. Very deep foresty green. Right, I'll put it back gently. There we go. All right, washi tape. All right, that's day 21. Day 22 is another flat one. Let's see what it is. Oh, it is, um, this is in collaboration with Storm Sparrows Inn. It's vellum paper and card set. And like I've said before, you usually get half and half, half for vellum, half for stickers, and half for vellum cards or type cards. No, half for cards and half for vellum, yes. And the vellum is usually stickers. Now, is it say stickers? Because this doesn't feel like stickers. No, it's not stickers. There's no shiny on the back. It's just vellum. So vellum and cards. And it is specimen frames is the theme. And so whatever you have in vellum, you have the same image in cards. And because of the, the how the paper is made, the cards come out a little brighter than the vellum does. So butterflies, um, insects, and these match that, that uh, washi and the other stickers we had. Look at the, the penguins. That's my daughter's favorite. Or it was. I don't know if it still is. Some birds. All right, and then the same things over here. Isn't that kind of neat, too? You could put something behind it sort of see-through. I like that. Maybe it's meant to do that. It's the same design ish. And this one is. Yeah, maybe that, no, it doesn't fit in that one. All right. Yeah, so you have like a, you could actually cut this out and put clear acetate in there and then you could see through it that would be really pretty all right so i get i get caught up all right so we'll put that right there that was day 22 day 23 now this is the second to last piece and so it is kind of a coup de gras i would imagine anybody who purchased the half set i don't know maybe you get one of the, i don't know how that one worked i went ahead and i purchased the full set and what's inside of 23 are some vintage pharmacy wooden stamp set. And these are beautiful. They come in a nice box. Which does, oh, I'd want to do this every time. I want to slide it. It's not a slide. It's a magnetic pop open. Duh. All right. And so there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 1718 it says vintage pharmacy set of 18 stamps I guess I didn't have to <laughs> count that the the stamps themselves are like it said wooden and you can see the plastic on the back very nice so the wooden stamps aren't as usually as detailed as the clear stamps but they're still beautiful and I mean I'm doing a a green witch journal and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to use up some of these in there 
All right, so this was really nice. Vintage Pharmacy. And then our last one, our last one is Day 24. It is it is box feeling. And it was wrapped up very nicely after taking it out for the um, shorts. I did not put all the wrapping back in, but it is a wooden box. It is a black wooden box with a glass top. And it opens, has magnetic closure. Um, the inside measures about three and a half inches. And I guess it's, uh, I don't know. And then, yeah, it's, some, it's square. So three and a half by three and a half inches. It is an inch and a half high. Closes very nicely. It's a black finish a black stain type finish with feet and it is embellished with Core Create Crafts on the back. And that is, this is gonna, I don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but I have some ideas. This is, I guess, the coup de gras <laughs> of the collection. So there you go. That is, day, these are day what day are we? 17 to 24 of Core Create Crafts Advent Box. Thanks for joining me for this box opening this Advent season. And if y'all have a wonderful holiday, and I'll see you on the next video.